Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at the Face of Horror. The Face of Horror mask is a relatively low-level mask, and, uh, and it has some rather interesting stats, and it actually works fairly well for a couple of characters. Um, it also has a really interesting use of being a very nice bonus strength piece of equipment that can help you put on other pieces of equipment around the same level. Um, it can also be combined with several other pieces to reach a very high level of hit causes monster to flee, if that's your purpose. And as we go over this, I think you'll find that the Face of Horror Mask is a rather interesting low-level mask that can be utilized on a relatively large number of characters for good purpose. So we have the Face of Horror Mask, which is 43 defense. It does vary a little bit. Um, I think it's like low it, lowest you can find it at is 34, and I think the highest you can find it at is like 53 or 52 or something like that. Um, it has a, a very low strength requirement of 23, which is absolutely great because it has a really high strength bonus on it. Uh, it also only requires level 20, which is absolutely excellent because you could use this well before you leave normal difficulty. Uh, we have 50% damage to undead on this hat, uh, which basically means it just gives you a damage bonus to undead. So if you are a, um, melee or a ranged character, you will get this bonus. It acts as a physical damage bonus. Functions very similarly to the way the Might does, but only works on Undead, of course. Um, it also will not show on the character screen, so unfortunately these these like special damage bonuses to demons or Undead do not actually show on the character screen for you. Now, we also have uh, Hit Causes Monster to Flee 50%, which is a pretty massive bonus to Hit Causes Monster to Flee, and if you were to stack it with something like Rattle Cage, Yes, this is a fully upgraded rattle cage. I did it in the last video. <laughs> Which has 40% hit causes monster to flee. You're going to be at 90% hit causes monster to flee uh, relatively quickly. Uh, you can see here, uh, where's my hit causes monster to flee at? Right there. 90% hit causes monster to flee. Uh, which is freaking really a lot. I also always noticed that it had like these little blue things on the horns. So, you know, if you're using uh, this particular mask specifically for the hit causes monster to flee, it's actually a pretty good one to pair up with Rattle Cage. Rattle Cage also has some nice benefits, but go see that video for the Rattle Cage. Uh, we also have uh, 25 defense on this, which is added flat, and then we get um, 20 to strength, which is a massive bonus to strength. At level 20, which is when you can put this on, 20 to strength can help you put on a myriad of other pieces of equipment, um, especially as a sorceress or, or a necromancer or any kind of low strength character that would just like to get an extra 20 points in strength and can be combined with other pieces of equipment. Like, for instance, you could combine them with... Um, Saigon's Gauntlets for another bonus to strength. Um, there are a lot of different things that you can use this for, specifically for that strength bonus. Uh, we also have All Resistances 10 on this, uh, which is very, very nice to have at 20, level 20. In Normal Difficulty, All Resistances 10 is great. In Nightmare Difficulty, not so much. Uh, it's not really enough. But having the All Resistances on there with the, the 20 strength bonus, along with the uh, hit causes monster to flee and the damage bonus to undead, makes it a fairly solid helmet choice uh, for a lower level character. Now granted, you may be using something else if you're using sets. So like if you were using a Rotha's set, you probably wouldn't want to put this on. But if you were doing like a solo cell found character, your single player, or whatever, and you happen to come across this uh, this mask, it'd be a pretty good one to hang on to for any situation where you might need a little bit of extra strength. Uh, it could definitely help out a melee character. It works very well on um, on characters that aren't too concerned with hit causes monster to flee. It can also be used as a swap item for melee characters when you're fighting bosses. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but hit causes monster to flee does not work on bosses. It does not work on elites. It does not work on champions. So if you're in a situation where you're surrounded by monsters, you can use this to effectively, you know, diminish all of the trash monsters from the battlefield and uh, cut down everything to just the boss and, uh, and, this, and, you know, and the champions and stuff like that. However, I think where this helmet really shines is on a ranged character. Um, if you put this on a boson, for instance, uh, you get the nice hit causes monster to flee. You get the plus to strength. We can help you put on your bows. Uh, bows do tend to have rather high strength requirements. Um, some of them are higher than others, but uh, if we take a look here, uh, like for instance, the Grand Matron bow is 108 strength. 
Um, this one is not so bad at, at uh, 52, so that's not bad at all. But, um, but sometimes you may need a bonus to strength, and you can have this sitting in your stash for that. Um, you can also use it on your bow girl to increase her strength. Um, they tend to have relatively low strength. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the fully upgraded Arctic Furs, but uh, it's pretty beast. It's a pretty beast, uh, Arctic Furs. Uh, literally 1,704 without the set bonus, and with I the set bonus, 1,959. It's, uh, it's freaking nuts. Um, but you can put this on your Merc to beef up her strength, and, uh, and as you can see, she goes from 137 to 157, which is pretty nice. She also gets the Hit Causes Monster to Flee effect, which is definitely good for her, and she gets the All Resistances. Um, it's definitely a nice one to pair up with the Rattle Cage, again. Um, you could pair this up on an Amazon or a... Um, or an, a uh, Bow Girl. Of course, she can't wear this one because I upgraded this one to the Lacquered Blade. But, uh, heh. You can also find an ethereal version of this, which is right here, and that one is uh, not very much uh, better on the defense, only 52. Um, unfortunately, because it has a, a flat defense bonus instead of an increased enhanced defense bonus, the defense doesn't scale very well on this. Uh, we are going to upgrade this, by the way, and we're going to uh, play around with, the, uh, with upgrading this to its higher form. So it is a normal difficulty mask, and to upgrade this to uh, the first tier, we're going to need a shale rune, a Tal rune, and a perfect diamond. Okay, so here we go. I had to go. Uh, I had to go actually grab some because uh, I was running low. I know I should have all this stuff prepared in advance, but I got so many items that I'm upgrading and so many things that I'm doing videos on. So, uh, my face of horror is going to go from 43 defense, 23 strength, level 20, to 85 defense, 55 strength, level 30. And honestly, pretty solid upgrade. Level requirement only went up by 10. Strength requirement did not go up high enough to make it prohibitive. And the defense actually did go up a pretty decent amount, considering that it's still a level 30 item. I'm going to say a good, solid one-tier upgrade. Especially if you're using that 20 strength and the all resistance is 10, uh, it definitely would be a good idea to get a little bit more defense out of it. Now the ethereal version um, is probably not going to upgrade very well because quite honestly, the the problem is, is it doesn't have any kind of like actual bonus, so it's only going to upgrade the flat amount. But let's find out. So 52 defense, 13 strength requirement, level 20, to 127 defense, 45 strength requirement, level 30. So not bad, actually, for level 30. And if you were using this on a low-level bow girl, which the bow girls are getting buffed up now, um, could be a very interesting choice to increase her strength requirement so she can utilize a higher-level item. Definitely definitely a good upgrade for Tier 1. Now, I'm pretty sure that the upgrade for Tier 2 is going to be absolute garbage, but we're going to do it anyway because that is what we do in these videos. And, uh, and we're going to upgrade this one more time. So the Face of Horror Death Mask is going to upgrade with a Lem, a Co and a perfect diamond from 85 defense 55 strength level 30 to 174 defense 102 strength level 67 so not a bad upgrade as far as the strength is concerned 102 is not bad the main issue here is that um is that despite the fact that it got a pretty decent bump in defense um the level requirement went way too high at level 67 and um i mean if you really if you just really needed the strength or strength um you know you would maybe use this but you probably wouldn't spend a lemon co on it and um and despite the fact that it's not a bad upgrade it's not worth a lemon co let's check out the ethereal version next shall we so we got 127 defense 45 strength level 30 to 241 defense, actually not bad, 92 strength and level 67. You know, I could almost see using this on a mercenary, a uh, rogue mercenary specifically, just for the hit causes monster to flee, um, combined with the other nice effects on here, like the bonus to strength. Uh, th those are the only two real things on here that are absolutely, you know, kind of worth it if you were trying to get the bonus to strength. It could make a makeshift... Andorial's Visage, you know, because Andorial's Visage obviously also has um, a nice bonus to strength on it. So it's almost like a mini Andorial's Visage. Of course, it doesn't have the plus to skills, and it doesn't have the increased attack speed or the lifesteal or anything. You know, but it does have, obviously, the very nice bonus to strength. And, uh, and I feel like it can almost take the place 
of an Andorian's Visage for a little while until you have something better. Um, you could even socket this with a 15% IAS jewel. Um, those are relatively easy to come by, just 15% just IAS, nothing else. Um, those are easy to come by, and you would literally have a very nice hit causes monster to flee, 15% IAS, 20 strength, all resistance is 10. And it could very easily be a placeholder helmet until you get your um, Andorial's Visage. And hear me out, if you're trying to rush through ladder, you happen to find a face of horror, um, you could obviously not upgrade it to tier 3, but upgrade it to tier 2 probably. Um, you find a face of horror, you can socket it, put a 15% IAS jewel in it, and utilize it up until the point where you find yourself in Andorial's Visage. You could get yourself a Colossus Vulge, an Ethereal Colossus Vulge, make yourself an Insight early on, uh, which does require 200 strength. And, um, and putting this on your Mercenary would give you that 20 strength bonus uh, to be able to wield the Colossus Vulge for a little while until you could find something better. Um, you know, until you find maybe a bone, a giant skull, bone visage, or the Andorial's uh, visage, demon head mask. Uh, there's a couple choices for plus to strength, uh, but this is definitely the lowest level choice for plus to strength. And speaking of uh, trying to find this, uh, where would we go to look to find a face of horror mask? Now, specifically because I feel like the only place that this is going to be utilized for the most part is normal difficulty, that's where we're going to focus our, uh, our sort of our search, right? So under the auspices of what this would actually be used for, which is a lower level character, um, let's assume 0% magic find. Let's assume we are looking for this in normal difficulty, which is probably the case. Um, and we are uh, obviously in a player's one game with a party size of one. And uh, we're going to look at bosses first. So as you can see here, um, avoiding the quest kills, uh, we've got Diablo at 1 in 596 chance and Bale at 1 in 640 chance. So pretty good chances from both normal difficulty bosses. But I feel like uh, by the time you get to Diablo, you've already well passed 20. You're usually rocking to uh, like 24, 25-ish. And you're, uh, you're kind of moving in th that direction. Um, so maybe let's see if we can find somebody a little bit sooner than Diablo. So let's take a look at Super Uniques. And uh, Witch Doctor and Dugu can drop it in Flayer Dungeon Level 3. Um, and seeing as how we're no longer going to be able to skip Act 3, because uh, they are patching that. Um, I mean, you are going to at least kill him once, so might as well. And uh, that is Act 3. Uh, Shank the Overseer has a pretty good chance. Uh, Eldritch the Rectifier has a pretty good chance. Doc Farron, uh, Pindleskin. So, so it looks like you could relatively easily farm this in normal difficulty. Uh, quite a few good monsters in there. Uh, let's look at all real quick just to see where like the you know highest percent chance is if you really want to get your hands on this. It does look like Nightmare Cow King has a really high chance, one in three thousand. And uh, then if we go to bosses. All bosses. Uh, we're still looking at to, 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 uh, Nightmare Diablo. For some reason, has a really high chance to drop this item. Uh, but that's quest kill. Hold on. So normal Diablo is still really the best best chance to find this item. Pretty much bar none. Well, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my video, even when it's a, on a horrific mask like this. And as always. Keep watching.